So my antlers are moving backwards. There, that's better. <laughs> Can you please stay on my head? Is this just setting me up for disaster for the coming months? That day has arrived. Hello lovely bookworms, I'm Esme from Paradise with Pages on Instagram and also on Twitter and welcome to a new video. Today it is time for another Game of the Books video. Before we get into all of that, I have a couple of things to say, very exciting things. So let's start off by saying that for December, Femke and I have some very, very interesting plans. I'm not going to spoil just what it is because I think this video is going to go up before the announcement video that Femke is filming. If it's not, I will link it up here, but do stay tuned for that video as well. And if it's already up, you can watch it directly after this. That is basically everything for the announcements. <laughs> also, I'm wearing antlers. As you can see, I am so excited about December. I am so ready. I'm wearing antlers, wearing a Christmas sweater, red lipstick. We, we, like, we're ready to rumble. So there's that. Then, speaking of exciting things, my antlers are moving backwards. There, that's better. <laughs> speaking of exciting things, they're doing it again. Can you please stay on my head? There, that, that, is that better? I hope it's better. You probably can't see them completely anyway, but I want them to stay on my head, preferably. That said, something more exciting, and I've actually been talking about this for two months in these videos already, is that I wanted to make a new board. And that day has arrived. I have made a new board. As you can see, the colors are a little bit different. They no longer flow into one another, which is really nice. I've also made it a slightly different shape, as you can see. Uh, the reason for that is that I just took off the title. You can see the title in the videos anyway, and I didn't really like the way it looked. Also, the space that is here are for the cards. And speaking of cards, that has changed too. So as you can see, there's four, no, five colors, and I have four cards. So let's start with the one that doesn't have a card, and that's a purple. I think you can guess what it is. It is actually a wild card. So if I land on a purple, that means I can pick whatever I want, just to make it a little bit more easy on myself. So that is the first color. Then moving on to green, which is the first one, which is on here. These are the green cards. These are basically a plot specific or book content specific prompt. This could be read a book with a magic system, read a book with an animal sidekick, read a desert vibe book, a polar thon, the polar book, polar fantasy, whatever. These are those kinds of prompts. So those are the green cards. Then moving on to orange. Orange are the book specific prompts. And what do I mean with that? I actually mean that these are the books that, or the prompts that basically say, read a book over 300 pages, read a book with a female protagonist, read a book that's written by a male author. Those kinds of sort of theoretical prompts, if you know what I mean. So this has to do with anything apart from the plot of the book just the specifics of the, the book. I think that's what I can call it. Then moving on to green. Green are actually specific books, books on my TBR. So this could be, for example, looking at my shelf, uh, The Whisper Man by Alex North, for example. These are just books that I want to get to and I'm not prone to pick up. So I've put them on a card so that I can actually read them. It could be that I pick a card with this in the coming months of a book that I've already read, but we'll see that as we go and that'll, that'll become clear. Then the final color is yellow and yellow is actually really, really interesting. I have my yellow cards here. The, those are these. And what does yellow mean? Yellow means that I'm reading one of your favorites. So I've asked a couple of my Twitter friends, booktube friends, and just friends in general, Femke's also in here. <laughs> what what is a book that i should read name one book because i can't put 20 books for one person because uh, it's going to take me a while i want to rotate it a little bit but these are your favorites so if you have one book you think i should read please put it down in the description no not in the description in the comments and i will add it to the stack and i will also be naming you in the video if you don't want this do let me know so i know that and i'll you know put that in a document i check every single time that i grab one of these cards but do let me know which book you want me to read if it's a book I've already read I'll get back to you and ask you for a different book because we all have more than one favorite and <laughs> I mean it, it should be fine we'll, we'll figure it out so those are all of the colors 
Speaking of rolls, we're going to be rolling four times, just like regular. And if I land on the 63, that's the same one as the start. So I'm going to sort of put those as one, one little space. That means it's also a wild card because start is purple. This is also purple, but I didn't want to color it in completely. Then if I surpass the 63, that means we're having an additional roll. And speaking of sort of, what is it? Not restrictions. I can't get to the word punishments for me if there's a book on my tbr from last month that i haven't read i will carry it over into the next month so that's why we're only doing four because i'm probably going to be adding quite a couple of them because i'm very bad at finishing my tbrs <laughs> but hopefully that is just something for me to work on then before we get to roll number one i wanted to talk about the books that i had to read last month and those were four books i have them right here serpent and dove the queen of your deception girl serpent thorn and fallen kingdoms i can tell you that i've read Serpent and Thorn, or reread rather, and Girl Serpent Thorn. I am about halfway done in the Green of Air Deception, so I'm pretty sure I can finish that, which leaves Fallen Kingdoms. I don't think I can finish that this month, so this is going to be carried over into December, and this is going to be top priority. So this is going to be the first book that I read. So that's that for the books for last month, and let's just get to roll number one. I've talked enough. Hello, lovely bookworms, and welcome to the new board. I am so excited. As you can see, we have a nice new little mascot. This is actually a gift from Femke, which I believe she bought in Africa. And it's a little elephant, as you can probably see. So that is our new mascot. We're still using a D20, and we're going to be rolling four times, as I've already explained. And then, depending on the color, we're going to pick a card. So roll number one is a 14. Purple. We're starting with a wild card. Hey, I am actually really excited about this. So roll number one. We're starting off nice and easy and I'm surprised. But the first one is a wild card. And the one I want to read this month is The Wolf in the Water by Josie Jaffrey. This is actually a arc that I've received and I haven't picked it up yet, which is a pure damn shame. I really have to. It's not that big either, so I think I can easily read this one. So that's why this is on my TBR. I really, really want to finish this this month, so hopefully I can get to it. I think this book is sort of about a city that I think sits in a valley, and then there's a lot of magic to it. I'm not completely sure. I know that I've read the synopsis multiple times, but I'm just very, very bad at remembering them. Yeah, it's basically about sort of a, an ancient city that sits in an isolated valley they're cut off from the outside and a lot with magic so i'm very very excited about this i am not going to be looking too much into what this is actually about because in general i like going into my books not knowing too much and that's book number one so roll number two let's see it keeps rolling off the bed let's re-roll number two ten so 24. Orange. Reread a favorite. Are we being nice this month? What is this? I am scared now. So roll number two was actually an orange and here's the orange card and that is reread a favorite. And Something that I haven't mentioned at the beginning of this video is that I am participating in Polarthon, the weekend edition, which is, I think, the 3rd, 4th, and 5th of December, or the 4th, 5th, and 6th of December. It's around the 4th of December. It's a weekend. I think it's three days, and there are no rules other than the fact that you have to read polar books. And the first one that I have on my list, I hope to be reading two or three books. Three might be a little bit too much, but definitely two, I, I hope. And the first one is actually a reread, so that's why this card was perfect. And that one is Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett. I read this one first a couple of years ago. I think I even filmed myself crying over the second book, which is All the Wandering Light, last year or the year before. And it's high time that I reread it again. It's not my first reread, but let's not talk about that. This is basically about a girl named Kamsen who wants to become a royal explorer. And when the actual royal explorer comes to her town and she gets the opportunity to travel with him, she takes it and that's where her adventure starts. I loved this book. It is so snowy, mountainy, all the right wintry vibes. And this is the perfect polar book 
So I'm very excited to dive back into this world. If possible, I'm also very excited to reread the second book in this series. That's not going to be my TBR, just so you know, but if I can, I'm definitely going to do that because December is just the perfect month for rereading, in my opinion. And I'm so excited to get back into this world again. Rule number three. 19. Hmm. Another orange. Read a book you look forward to. Are we being nice this month? What is this? Okay, so we have another orange, and that is read a book you look forward to. I actually have a recent release on my TBR that I got a little bit ago that everybody's raging about that I am looking forward to read, but I'm also a little bit scared. And that is The Invisible Life by Eddie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I have to say that the only books that I've read by V.E. Schwab are the Cassidy Blake series, which is City of Ghosts, and Bridge of Souls. I think those are the two that are out, or is Bridge of Souls the third one? It's, it's the Cassidy Blake series, and I loved that one. I've also read The Savage Song, which I wasn't as big of a fan of. So I'm a little bit scared. I haven't read of Darker Shades of Magic yet. That was a weird sentence, but I haven't gotten to that series yet. And I'm not sure if I'll love this, but I'm excited nonetheless. I hope that I can read this one pretty fast, but um, yeah. The only thing I know about this is what I've seen from spoiler-free reviews, sort of, is that it's about a girl who is immortal and everybody that she meets immediately forget about her, hence the invisible life until she meets one guy who basically is like, oh, I remember you, which never happens for her. Other than that, I don't know too much, so I'm excited to see if I'll like it, and I'll let you know at the end of the month. And roll number four. Another 14. Another wild card. Whoa. Well, that is, that is, that is exciting. Okay, so the final roll was another wild card. It's a nice month to start with a new board. Is this just setting me up for disaster for the coming months? I have no idea. Or is this just the board saying, okay, 2020 was something and we're nice to you. But yeah, the final one was a wild card. And I actually have a wintry book on my TBR that I've been meaning to get to. And I think it would be perfect for December. I also love the cover and once you see it you probably know why I want to read this and that is Agatha Christie's Midwinter Murder. This is a collection of short, short, short stories all about murder and Poirot is in here, I think Miss Marple is in here and I'm just so excited to get through this. This is also one of the books that I am hoping to read for Polar Thon which, I mean, it's not that big, and I'm just so excited to get into this one. Oh, it, it's, it's amazing. Also, doesn't the cover look exceptionally wintry? Like, oh, I'm, I'm just so excited to get into this one. So that is the fourth book on my TBR. So those are all of the books on my TBR. As you can see, there's four of them, probably five if I can't get to Fallen Kingdoms, and those are The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue, even the Darkest Stars, Midwinter Murder, and The Wolf and the Water. I hope that I can get to them. Two of them are a little bit bigger and these are quite small, so I think I should be able to do that. I do have to say that December is always a busy month when it comes to, well, everything. <laughs> and in general, I'm just so, so excited to finally be able to read some of these because some of them I've had for a little bit. So, for example, The Ark and also the Invisible Life of Adi LaRue. I've heard everybody rage about it. So I'm excited for my little pile for December. That said, that is everything for this video. I hope you've loved the new board. Also, I love the fact that now all of the colors are actually linked to a specific sort of prompt and idea behind the card, which is a lot more in line with what I like. If that makes sense, I don't really like the fact that it wasn't really linked. It was just different colors for you know, aesthetic reasons, but now it's aesthetic and useful, if that makes sense. 
I'm just so excited for the new board. Also, if you have a favorite book that you want me to read, please let, let me know down below. I'm so excited to hopefully get a yellow next time and read your favorite books. And that is everything for this video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to your channel and press that little bell icon so you get post notifications every single time that I or Fem can post a video because the announcement is coming. Also, please give us a thumbs up. Also, please give me a thumb thumbs up. Oh, I can't say this. Just thumbs up, guys, please. And I hope to be seeing you guys the next time. Bye!